with StrongHappyHealthy.com Health Blog, and I'm here today to show you some basic lunges and how you can take those up to more advanced techniques right at your own home. So you ready? Let's get started. So this first movement is your basic lunge. You do this lunge in place. Your front and your back leg should both be at 90 degrees angles when you're at the bottom part of the movement. Your eyes should be focused forward, your core should be tight, and if you lose your balance, focus on your belly button. Your belly button is your center of gravity. The alternating lunge, you'll be transferring your weight back and forth from your right to your left leg. You will be bringing in more ancillary muscles as you do a transfer of balance. It's a more natural movement, but don't rely on momentum to get you up and down. These are rear lunges. Rear lunges are great to take the pressure off your knees and they target more on your glutes. But the transfer of balance may be a little awkward, so be sure to focus on your center of gravity, which is right around your belly button. If you're ready for a more advanced move, these alternating lunges are perfect. If you add a medicine ball or some sort of dumbbell, you can bring in your core and your shoulders. So this first move, you're just pushing the weight straight out and then bringing it right back in. And this next move, you're bringing it overhead and back down. So you're focusing on your balance, your core, and your shoulders. More bang for the buck. Walking lunges are a great exercise, but I see them done incorrectly a lot. So thing to keep in mind when you're doing walking lunges, keep your head up, eyes focus forward, keep your shoulders back, core tight. Don't take too big a step. If you take too big a step, you're getting your hips out of balance. One way to advance walking lunges is to add some weight, and actually this will kind of help with your balance. So keep your head straight, focus on your belly button to keep that center of gravity, and remember, don't take too big of steps. Another advanced technique for walking lunges is adding a little leg curl. Start without weights. Remember to keep your eyes focused forward, keep your core tight, and really focus on the glutes and hamstrings when you're doing that little curl in the back. Another advanced technique with the walking lunge is holding a weight overhead. You can use a medicine ball like I have here, dumbbells, a plate, or barbell, just as you would with a normal walking lunge, but you're keeping your core nice and tight and you're keeping your shoulder girdle really stabilized. Keep your shoulders back. This helps with your core, your shoulders, your arms, as well as your glutes and legs. Curtsy lunges are a great advanced lunge to round out the glutes. The thing to keep in mind when you're doing a curtsy lunge is to keep your shoulders parallel to the floor. It's best to do these in front of a mirror so you can square off your shoulders in front of the mirror and not have your torso turning. Start with your feet about shoulder width apart and really focus on putting your weight on your heels. An advanced technique to um, the curtsy lunges are adding some weight and doing some curls. So you're doing your biceps and your glutes at the same time. I call these curtsy curls. Same thing applies, keep your shoulders squared off, parallel to the floor, and as you're stepping back and forth, you're curling up the weight. Thanks for watching. And remember, while exercise techniques are very important, they're only 25% of the equation. 75% is nutrition and recovery. So for more information, go to my website, stronghappyhealthy.com, and subscribe to my YouTube station. Thank you.